All right, so I know many of us, myself included, have been anxiously waiting for this for the past couple of weeks. And now it's time to finally find out exactly what STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will do after their Extreme Z Awakenings, which by the way, is dropping very, very soon in uh, less than two days from now, exactly one day, 16 hours, 24 minutes, and 20, Four seconds from the time I'm recording this video obviously even closer when this video comes out but extremely soon make sure you guys are ready for that but with all that said let's jump right into it and we'll start with the details for Super Saiyan 4 Goku first and we will you know, go over his pre EZA details and then talk about his Extreme Z Awaken details to compare the two all right so before the EZA his leader skill is Super SDR type ski plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 120% or extreme STR type ski plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack causes immense damage and defense plus 30% for 6 turns. And his passive is 150% attack, medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. So, um, yeah, before the EZA, you know, when he first came out, Goku was always an extremely hard hitter. You know, he always was a great damage dealer, but there's one glaring omission from his passive that really made him kind of problematic, kind of, uh, you know, a liability in harder events like Super Battle Road, uh, the Legendary Goku event, and so on and so forth. And that was the fact that he didn't have any defense on his passive, right? I mean, he did raise defense by 30% for six turns, on his super attack, but even then, it didn't really make him tanky enough, you know? I'm pretty sure uh, I saw some calculations where even after he supered, he only has like 80k defense or uh, less than 100k for sure, right? So he was not a great defensive unit, but now with the EZA, obviously they kind of made that a bit of a focus, and for the most part, I think they solved it. So moving on to the EZA, Leader skill is Super STR Type Ski plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Extreme STR Type Ski plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. Super Attack greatly raises attack for one turn, so as hard as he hit before, he's now also raising attack for his Super Attack Multiplier by 50% on Super, and then causes immense damage, greatly lowers enemy's defense, and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns, so that's the same. And then his passive is attack plus 150% and defense plus 120%, which is obviously exactly what he needed. Plus an additional attack plus 40% when performing a super attack and medium chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. And as I'm sure a lot of you, um, you know, would suspect, this additional 40% boost is calculated separately, which means that he actually gets a total boost of 250% attack when performing a super attack, which is obviously quite insane, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a simple Extreme Z Awakening, to be honest. They made a better leader skill, like all the other 120 leads. He got a better uh, super attack, you know, he got greatly raising attack, greatly lowering defense and everything else does remain the same. And then on his passive, he gets even more attack, and he also gets some defense now, and he still can, uh, you know, counter supers. I kind of wish they increased this to a high chance, but maybe that would have been too OP, because obviously the LR Super Saiyan 4s still only have a medium chance as well, so if they gave these guys high chance, then I think, I mean, basically, I think that the point was they didn't want to make them like, you know, better than the LR Super Saiyan 4s, and, you know, on paper right now, I still think the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is better. Um, I will have to see this guy in action, right? I think he's gonna hit extremely hard. Like, I think his damage output is gonna be, you know, off the charts. Uh, defensively, I still think he's gonna be, well, obviously much improved, like much, much improved, but I don't think he's gonna be an amazing defensive unit, but I think he's gonna be a very good defensive unit. I mean, you gotta take into effect, or into account, the fact that he does have 120% defense on his passive now, but he also has much more defense, right? So here are his rainbowed Extreme Z Awaken stats, and he has 19,880 attack, so almost 20,000 attack, 
10,306 defense and 19,325 HP. Now, compared to before the Extreme Z Awakening, where he had 16,856 attack, so that's 3,000 more attack, and he has about a thousand, um, yeah, about a thousand uh, more defense as well. So that's gonna make a huge difference for him defensively. And uh, yeah, this guy's gonna be a beast, man. He's gonna hit so hard. He's gonna be a much better defender. And that's essentially all I was looking for, man. Like, I, I can't wait to see the damage numbers this guy puts out. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so that's the Goku. Let's move on to Vegeta and show him some love. So we got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta here. Uh, before the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is AGL types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, Extreme AGL key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%, and then super attack, defense damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 120%, medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. So. Yeah, I would say Vegeta between the two was definitely the much more balanced one. He did not hit nearly, he didn't hit nearly as hard as Goku, but he had much better defense, right? So he was more balanced in that sense. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is Super AGL types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or Extreme AGL types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, greatly lowers defense to the enemy, and raises attack by 30% for 6 turns. And then passive is attack plus 150%, and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 40% when performing a super attack, and medium chance of evading enemy super attack, and countering with tremendous power. Now this might seem kind of familiar because it is literally the exact same passive as Goku, which uh, I've heard some people complain about because they're like, oh, once again, they made Goku and Vegeta the exact same unit. Well, first of all, they're not the exact same unit, but they are very similar, and you shouldn't be that surprised since it is kind of a trend um, when it comes to Dokkan, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, same passive, but obviously for Vegeta, his super attack is a little bit different where he greatly raises defense instead of greatly raises attack for one turn. And he also raises attack by 30% for 6 turns, as opposed to defense by 30% for 6 turns. So I guess for Vegeta, he kind of got a you know a bigger boost op offensively. I mean, Goku got a massive boost offensively too. I mean, they both just got boost offensively and defensively. I mean, Vegeta was already a pretty good defender before the EZA. He's going to be an even better defender now because he does greatly raise defense. And he's also he's also going to be able to put out some bigger numbers like on like damage wise too, right? Because he gets the 30% attack boost. Now it's 150% attack compared to 120% attack before. And obviously because of the additional 40% attack when supering, because that's calculated separately, he's still just like Goku getting 250% attack um, when super attacking. So yeah, this guy's still going to hit really hard. He's not going to hit as hard. That's Goku does, probably. Yeah, I mean, also there's the attack stat too. So when maxed out, Vegeta has 19,407 HP, 18,320 attack, which is, you know, about 1,500, I believe. About 1,500 less than Goku, which is significant. That's a lot of attack difference. But on defense, Goku has 10,300, Vegeta has 12,300. So 12,314, that's a 2,000 increase over uh, Goku or 2000 difference so he's gonna be really really good on defense man like I can't tell you the exact numbers but I can tell you he's probably gonna hold up really well in you know super battle road extreme super battle road LGE whatever you want to throw him on he's gonna you know be a solid tank I'm not, I'm not gonna say he's you know on golden Frieza's level or super saiyan 3 Vegeta's level he's not gonna be that good of a tank but he's gonna be very very tanky and then his damage should uh, not disappoint either. You know, he should give you some very impressive numbers on offense as well. So, yeah, man, I like these EZAs. I really do. I think they did a great job. Um, are they going to replace the LR Super Saiyan 4s? That remains to be seen. You guys can let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Um, maybe, maybe AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will be better than STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. 
but I feel like AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the LR one for sure, is still going to be better than the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now this comment might not age well depending on you know, the actual performance, I'll have to see once uh, they come out, but for now, I'm going to withhold my uh, judgment on that, but yeah, definitely let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the EZAs, how you feel like they compare to the LR Super Saiyan 4s you currently have, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for obviously some showcases, some streams when they come out. Uh, I've been working hard on my Goku and Vegeta for the past couple of days, and they're both close to actually level 10 links, so I might be able to do either a close to level 10 links, like max link showcase for both of them, or you know, just a straight up max level link, right? Max link level showcase for both, depending on how the RNG goes. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I gotta say. That is today's video Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Extreme Z Awakenings coming at you very soon. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out